Welcome back to SignalWire Tutorials. My name is Fred Mutesa and today I'm going to be covering Relay Voice or SIP connectivity with SignalWire. The first thing to do is to go into your space, your SignalWire space and create a new project. I'm going to call my new project SIP Relay 2 and then after doing that of course you have to buy a new number and there are many parameters you can use to find a number that you prefer. I'll create a number that ends with 8090 and then I can buy that one. Confirm your purchase and after you have that number we need to define a SIP endpoint. You click on create new SIP endpoint under the SIP option then you can put the username as pbx2 or anything you prefer and then you create a password. Save that. After saving that, we have to go and attach our SIP endpoint to the phone number and we tell our phone number that to handle incoming calls, you have to use the SIP endpoint we've just created. So this means that when a call comes in, we are sending it via the PBX2 user account or SIP user account that has registered. After configuring that and saving, we go into our PBX and we create a gateway that registers to the SignalWare space or the project. Let's log into our server and then we go into the free switch settings. <coughs> I'll use the template that is existing to show you the parameters that we are going to use to register our SIP endpoint. Let's first give our gateway a name and I'll call it um, PBX2. Dash signalware.com. And then I've also set this username which is PBX2. And then for the realm, we have to, to get the string that was generated by the PBX. And this is a string that you copy over and it will be your domain part. You paste it in there. It will also be the same that goes into the proxy parameter. Of course, the password is what we set when, while we are creating the SIP endpoint. You save that and then you have to reload free switch. You can see that I've restarted the free switch C profiles and my gateway has shown up, has been added successfully. If I run Sophia status, I can actually see that the gateway PBX is registered. There you can do anything you want. You can set up outbound calls and then you can also test inbound calls to your purchase number in Signal Airspace and the call will land on your gateway. Thank you very much.